Well, uh, this week's Ironman Tip of the Week, uh, we're going to talk about gear maintenance. And I'm going to keep it really short. Uh, there's, there's really quite a bit to talk about, so um, we may do a topic later to kind of be a little more in-depth. Um, you know, gear maintenance, a lot of gear, right? Swim, bike, run. Um, it's a necessary evil that all triathletes have to deal with. Um, although there are maintenance items in every discipline um, of the race, you know, the swim gear... Is, is not that big a deal. You do spend money, but um, but it's just not a huge, you know, check that you write um, on, on your swim gear. Uh, same with the run. Uh, you know, your shoes are expensive, but uh, there's some there's some things you can do to prolong the life of those shoes. But otherwise, it's pretty standard gear. Um, what we're really talking about is bike maintenance. Um, the bike is is the most uh, costly part of this program, and uh, it's the one that can cause you the most pain and suffering if you don't properly maintain your bike um, through the se- throughout the season. So, let's talk a little bit about just just basic bike maintenance. There's a lot of maintenance to do on a bike, uh, so we're not going to get into all of it. I'm just going to hit some high points, things that are what I, in my opinion, are the most important. Uh, first off, if you're, you know, if you're not a cyclist, came from, if you didn't come from a cyclist background, more than likely, like me, you're not much of a wrench on these bikes. I mean, they're, you know, it's, it's not like a, a car or something where you get out a wrench and, and a hammer if you have to <laughs> beat it into submission. You have to be really careful. So, um, so if you're not you know, a, a, a cyclist and, and are not familiar with, with bike maintenance, you know, take it to a shop, do what you got to do, get on the YouTube and watch videos. Um, the, the, the cleaning part of, of bike maintenance is really pretty simple. You just have to do it. Um, you know, watch a few videos, give it a shot, and, um, you know, it's not rocket science. Um, just be careful and, and, and you'll, you will, uh, your bike will love you for it. Um, so let's talk about the kind of the, the, the top couple of things that I, I suggest you do in bike maintenance. Weekly basis, clean that drivetrain. Uh, when I take a, talking about drivetrain, I'm talking about the chain rings, the chain, uh, the cassette, the derailleur, uh, the crank, um, the crank. You know, clean to speak. You know, really, uh, but but that whole that whole drivetrain area is what gets the most wear uh, you put a lot of rotations on that drivetrain throughout the season if you're training and so it, you know you're picking up a lot of you've got a little bit of, of chain oil or grease on that chain and uh, it picks up all kinds of junk from the road and uh, dust grit dirt whatever and it'll just wear out your parts um, uh, so, and not to mention, it'll 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 screw you up when you're you know switching gears and 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 your chain keeps de- uh, uh, coming off the coming off the cassette or the or the uh, chain ring, you know. So clean your drivetrain, and my suggestion is you clean it weekly uh, if you're training. Uh, if you're putting you know 50, 70, 100 miles in a, a week. Um, you know, a couple of weeks maybe if you're doing light training, but um, but be consistent. And uh, you know, I use uh, soap and wa- soap and water to rinse it down. Not not a pressure washer, just light water. Um, and then I use a degreaser like Simple Green. Um, I actually use a foam degreaser, which is pretty heavy duty, from the parts house, uh, like the auto parts place, um, on the cassette and the chain. And uh, I'll let that set up for a little bit and then uh, brush it uh, really good, reapply it, let it sit, brush it again, and then rinse it off. Simple green on the chain rings and the rest of the bike. Again, very light pressure on the water. You just don't want to get that water into into the head area um, or into areas that will end up rusting, creating a problem for you later. So be light on the water but 
keep that chain ring clean, uh, or, or excuse me, that drivetrain clean uh, on, a, on a weekly basis. And then um, seasonally, you know, when I say seasonally, I know you, if you are in triathlon, you're probably on the bike all year, all year round, but wintertime is a good time if you're not training for a race. Take your bike into a shop and let them, let them kind of tear down. You know, you might probably more than likely need a ch- new chain and cassette. Uh, that crank, they can take it apart, clean it, grease it, put it back together. Uh, if it needs new uh, bearings, they'll replace those. They'll check out your head bearings and, and clean that up and, and grease it and put it back to spec. Um, I This past season, um, I started having a little head trouble and it started really sticking on me. I took it in and the thing, they had to chisel it out. I mean, the, the bearings were just shot. And, you know, you're just sweating on that constantly. Uh, so seasonally, take your bike in. It's going to cost you, you know, 150 depending on parts and whatever, a couple hundred bucks maybe. But it's the best $200 you're going to spend because if your bike fails, uh, now you're talking about a new bike and, you know, you just don't want to go there. So, um, so clean. Clean your drivetrain uh, seasonally. Take your bike in. Get it checked out. Make sure... You don't have any failed parts. Uh, you just, you know, it's just dangerous on the road. So um, that's it. We'll get into uh, a more detailed, in, in-depth uh, discussion about gear maintenance in a topic uh, when we have a little more time. So it's my Iron Man tip of the week. Hope it helped. So thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, remember that we're doing these videos and training for Iron Man through. Ironman Foundation to raise funds for Tying Vines, who is doing work for Syrian refugees in Lebanon. Um, they are just doing great humanitarian work. They're doing educational catch-up uh, programs for the kids. They're doing uh, medical support. They're doing trauma counseling. Folks, these people have been through unspeakable things. Um, and so, you know, all of those things are desperately needed. Um, for these folks in these camps and uh, so Tying Vines is meeting a need that that actually UN and other folks just can't do they don't have the, the facility they don't have the funds to to do these things so please consider donating um, you can go to my Iron Man, Iron Man webpage and uh, hit the donate button uh, the link is in the description below uh, you can also click on the video on my page and learn more about uh, Syrian Refugee Crisis, our program, our, our fundraiser called Melissa's Promise, what that's about, and, um, and also th- that'll link you to our YouTube channel where you can watch our other videos, get tips and topics uh, about Iron Man and, and triathlon. If you like the video, be sure and give us a thumbs up, uh, and, and if you hit the subscribe button, uh, you'll be able to you know get notifications and, and be able to catch any new videos that we put out of course you can follow us on uh, social media uh, Facebook Instagram Twitter Uh, be sure and check those out Um, and if you have any comments uh, please leave them in the comment section we'd be we'd love to hear from you be happy to to uh, to reply and um, answer any questions you might have okay that's it appreciate the uh, appreciate you watching and we will see you next week